as you guys might know already, Jailbreak Season 9 is about to end in just 6 days now. So that means that Season 10 will be coming in the next couple weeks. I believe it's actually next week. So now that we're hitting our 10th season, I've decided to rack up all of the previous seasonal vehicles and basically just show them all off. And if you didn't have the opportunity to grab them, you will be able to see how they perform in this video so that once trading comes out with season 10, you will be able to basically put a value on it for yourself. Because obviously, if you don't own the vehicle, you can't really determine a value for it and it's really easy to get scammed like that like for example i don't own the raptor so it's really really easy for someone to scam me of a lot of money because i don't know the performance on that vehicle so it's it's easy to tell me that oh it performs really good and they take two million but once i get the vehicle it's actually not good at all so that's pretty much why i'm making this video just so you guys don't get scammed because asimo and bad cc did say they won't be putting out any like asimo and bad cc vehicle value approved lists so they basically won't be telling us the value of vehicles and only the owners of the vehicles will be able to determine a value of their vehicle. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's get into this. So first up here, we have the Beam Hybrid. This was available in season one of Jailbreak. It's not really good at level one engine, but once you put the max engine on it, you will see a little bit of a speed increase. I believe it caps out at maybe 195 miles per hour, but I'm not really sure because I haven't driven this around much. Much. The acceleration and the handling on it is very very nice and the doors do open and close so that's very very nice. The interior design is very very nice and I really really like it. I mean just look at this. It looks very very nice. Um, I mean my head is sticking out the top of it but I mean other than that it's very very nice and I love this. I mean they even put the design on the door. The general model of the Beam Hybrid is also very, very nice, and I really, really like it. Obviously, the Beam Hybrid isn't the best vehicle in the game, but I mean, for being a seasonal vehicle and free at level 10, I mean, it's pretty good. And there was also a glitch that allowed people to duplicate their contracts and get this even faster, maybe even under three hours. So, I mean, I'm not really angry about how it performs because you literally were able to get it in maybe just under three hours. So, I mean, I'm not angry about its performance at all. It was super easy to get for people that did the glitch, and it's totally fair that the performance is like this. So overall, I'll rate this a 7.5 out of 10. It's a pretty decent seasonal vehicle and very, very good for being free at level 10. Now coming into season 2 of Jailbreak, we have the Crude Capsule. And yes, as you guys can see by the bottom of the screen, this is probably the worst seasonal vehicle so far. It caps out at 90 miles per hour and yeah, it's just not good. The handling is absolutely garbage because as you guys can see, the crew capsule is spinning, making it really, really hard to see what, what direction you're going in. The modeling on this thing is decent, but I mean, I don't really like it much because it's literally just a flying egg. Like, look at it, it's, it's literally a flying egg. The interior looks very, very low effort. I mean, it looks like they just plopped in some seats and put a screen on top and... Yeah, no, it's probably one of the worst seasonal vehicles so far. So yeah, bad handling, bad top speed, literally everything about this is bad except for the model, but even that I'm not that big of a fan of. So overall, I'll give this a 1 out of 10. I mean, the only thing that makes it a 1 out of 10 is the max altitude. But coming in here at season 3, we have the full 4x4. And this vehicle was a great improvement compared to the previous vehicles before this, because as you guys can see, if I boost it a little bit here, here, it will cap out at 215 miles per hour as you guys can see it keeps going up there it should cap out and I don't have enough room to do that okay let me try again and give it a moment and it should hit it and yeah but I didn't have enough room but as you guys can see it does have the ability to hit 115 miles per hour which is just insane but anyways that's the top speed the handling on this thing is also very very nice I mean it is a bit wide so it's pretty hard to go through big crowds other than that if you get a trade for this vehicle i definitely recommend accepting it because this is a very good seasonal vehicle overall i'd give it a 10 out of 10 very very good seasonal vehicle and i love it but now stepping into season four of jailbreak we have the rattler it caps out at 165 miles per hour so it's pretty good for season four because i believe that season was pretty easy so yeah this vehicle was pretty good in terms of speed but otherwise it also is very very good 
handling is very very nice as you guys can see and the interior also very very nice because it easily fits the theme of the car the engine also has a very very cool detail because as you guys can see it's actually vibrating and when i start moving you guys can see that fire actually comes out of the engine which is very very cool but yeah overall this is a very solid seasonal vehicle and i give it a 7.5 out of 10 it could be better but now coming into season 5 of jailbreak we have the banana car now i just want to say this is where the good vehicles start so the banana car here i believe it caps out at 115 miles per hour just like the volt 4x4 so it's pretty pretty fast the acceleration on this thing is also very very nice and it handles like a beast as well it does get a little bit shaky as you guys can see at a certain speed i don't know why that is it's probably just because it's a very very skinny vehicle but overall it's a pretty good vehicle i really like the model of it it's very very unique compared to other vehicles and the banana car is also a very solid seasonal vehicle so i give it a nice 9 out of 10. you might be wondering why i didn't give it a 10 out of 10 but that's only because when it's vibrating at a high speed that makes it very very hard to reach the top speed so that's pretty much the only reason it's a little bit lower down if it didn't vibrate it'd be an instant 10 out of 10. yeah now coming into my favorite season so far season six we have the bugatti bull light and in my opinion this vehicle is probably one of the best in the game it looks just amazing i mean look at this thing it looks a fabulous the interior very very nice and fits jailbreak's style amazing and overall this is a very very good seasonal vehicle so let's not waste any more time and let me get this to the top speed because this is actually the fastest seasonal vehicle so far so let's go ahead and upgrade this thing and as you guys can see it literally performs like the bugatti Chiron it's very very nice the handling is also just like the Chiron as well so it's basically an identical copy of the Chiron just with a different model so that's very very good as you guys can see it caps out at 265 miles per hour which is just insane so it's very very good for getting away from cops and I believe the acceleration on this thing is also better than the Chiron so that's a plus and this thing was literally free at level 10 so this is basically a free bugatti like if i played jailbreak on an alt account a brand new alt account with no progress and i did a season six i was able to get a free bugatti bolide at the end of the season you didn't even need the season pass so this is a free bugatti bolide and the easier contracts in that season also made this extremely easy to get so it's it was a very very nice vehicle and it still is to this day i mean it's probably my favorite seasonal vehicle so far it just looks amazing handles like a beast and the top speed is amazing for being a free at level 10. But yeah overall i'd give this thing a 10 out of 10 straight away i mean this is just an amazing seasonal vehicle for being free at level 10. but now stepping into season 7 of jailbreak we have the porsche tycon or icebreaker i do quickly want to point out this was actually the first vehicle in the game with these mirrors on the side which is pretty pretty weird the name is that this is a very very good vehicle it caps out 195 miles per hour which is just insane and the interior and exterior of this thing just look amazing and it's probably one of the best looking seasonal vehicles so yeah very very good seasonal vehicle the handling is great all of that stuff the braking and the acceleration very very nice as well as you guys can see it's basically a four-seater roadster with a little bit of a slower top speed but overall this is a very very good seasonal vehicle so i'd give it a 10 out of 10. but now hopping into season 8 of jailbreak we have the celsius and in my opinion this is the most overpowered vehicle in jailbreak just because it's a spawnable flying vehicle and it caps out at 115 miles per hour and for a spawnable flying vehicle like the celsius that is extremely overpowered i mean if you're being chased by a cop you could just quickly spawn this in and you could just fly away this is basically a miniature drone it only has a lower top speed and a little bit of a worse uh, max altitude but i mean spawnable flying vehicle 
vehicle this max altitude is probably the best I've seen so far. Great improvement from the crew capsule. I mean, this is literally a crew capsule 2.0. It's just insane. The exterior and the interior design on this thing just looks amazing. And it's probably one of the best looking seasonal vehicles so far. And this is probably also one of the most overpowered seasonal vehicles as well. And for being free at level 10, this is a extremely overpowered vehicle. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Coming into season 9 here, we have the Jackrabbit vehicle, and this is a very, very good seasonal vehicle. The top speed isn't the best, but I mean, the off-roading capability makes up for it. It's basically a miniature monster truck with a better chassis, and it's very, very nice. The model on this thing is very, very cool, and I really like how it looks. And the handling and stuff on it is also very, very good. The acceleration and deceleration speed is just insane, and it's probably one of the best in the game. So yeah, pretty good seasonal vehicle. If you're going for top speed, though, I don't recommend it because it's definitely not the fastest vehicle in the game. But overall, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. It could use a few improvements on the speed. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it or you found it helpful in some sort of way, please consider leaving a like or maybe even a subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps me and the channel a lot. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it and I'll see you guys all in the next video.